You can manifest your deepest desires by simply aligning your energy with high frequencies. Your thoughts, emotions, and actions shape your reality. Have you noticed how on some days everything seems to flow easily, while on others it feels like you're swimming against the current or how some people seem to radiate positive energy? While others drain you with their negativity, these experiences are all. Results of the vibrations you are emitting and attracting everything in the universe from the smallest atom to the vast expanse of galaxies is made up of energy, vibrating at different frequencies, and your thoughts, emotions, and actions are no exceptions. Every thought you have, every emotion you feel, and every action you perform is sending a specific VI vibration into the universe. And these vibrations are shaping your reality every moment by understanding how vibration works and learning to consciously control your frequency. You have the key to unlocking a world of unlimited possibilities. It's about taking inspired action from a place of alignment and trusting the process. So if you're ready to put in a necessary work and embrace the incredible power within you, everything is pulsing with energy at the Core of all matter, including your own body, are tiny particles called atoms. These atoms are constantly vibrating, and their unique vibrations determine the properties of the objects they compose from the solid ground under your feet to the air you breathe. Everything is made up of these vibratory building blocks, just like atoms vibrating at specific frequencies. Your thoughts and emotions emit their own unique vibrations. These vibrations act like cosmic magnets attracting experiences and circumstances that match your frequency. In other words, the energy you emit shapes your reality in profound ways. By consciously choosing the thoughts and emotions you emit, you have the power to shape your experiences and manifest the reality you desire. The key is in understanding the frequency of your thoughts and emotions, just like a radio dial tunes into different stations based on their frequencies. Your energetic frequency determines the experiences and opportunities you attract when you vibrate at a high frequency, characterized by positive emotions such as love, joy, and gratitude. You become a magnet for experiences that align with these vibrations. On the other hand, when you emit lower frequencies of fear, anger, or resentment, you will encounter more negative circumstances. The good news is that you have the power to consciously change your frequency and align with the vibrations of your desires. You can raise your vibration through gratitude and positive thinking. Can you recall a time when your reality reflected a moment when you were vibrating at a high frequency feeling, joyful, loving, and abundant now? Consider a time when you were stuck in a low frequency state consumed by fear, doubt, or negativity. How did your circumstances mirror those energies? Clearly. Frequency affects reality. Perhaps you've met someone who seems to radiate positivity and light, leaving you feel feeling uplifted and inspired, or perhaps you felt inexplicably trained after spending time with a negative or toxic person. These experiences are perfect examples of how the frequencies we emit and encounter can have a tangible impact on our reality. This is where the concept of coherence comes in. Coherence refers to the degree of harmony in alignment among our thoughts, emotions, and action. When we are in a state of coherence, our vibrations are strong, clear, and focused. This allows us to manifest our desires more effectively and create positive changes in our lives and the lives of those around us. On the other hand, when we are in a state of incoherence, our vibrations are scattered chaotic and dissonant. This internal discord not only hampers our ability to manifest our dreams, but also attracts negative experiences and circumstances that mirror our internal state. By consistently vibrating at a high frequency, you attract experiences and people that align with your positive energy. Meanwhile, low-frequency vibrations create a feedback cycle of negative experiences and self-fulfilling prophecies. Just as we have the power to influence the world with our vibrations, we also have the ability to consciously change our frequencies and create positive changes in our lives by becoming aware of our thoughts and emotions and choosing to intentionally cultivate high-frequency states such as love, gratitude, and joy. We can transform our reality from the inside out. Of course, this isn't always easy. 
Many of us have deep-seated patterns and beliefs that keep us stuck in low-frequency vibrations. By taking responsibility for our own energy and committing to our spiritual evolution, we can gradually elevate our vibrations and create a life that reflects our deepest desires and values. Take a moment to reflect on your own vibrational state. Think about how you feel at this moment. See if you are radiating positivity and joy, or if you are overwhelmed, med by negative thoughts and emotions. There are countless techniques and practices you can use to raise your energy and transform your reality. Firstly, the foundation of any high-frequency lifestyle is a consistent practice of mindfulness and self-awareness. Learning to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment you can begin to identify patterns and beliefs that may be keeping you stuck in low-frequency states. Another technique to raise your vibration is the use of affirmations and positive inner dialogue. The words you tell yourself have incredible power, and by consciously choosing to focus on positive and uplifting statements, you can gradually reprogram your subconscious mind and align your energy with your highest potential. It may feel strange or inauthentic at first, but with consistent practice, these positive affirmations will start to feel like your natural state of being. Of course, raising your vibration isn't just about what's happening inside your own mind. It's also about the energy you surround yourself with. One of the most powerful ways to raise your frequency is to seek out high vibration environments and relationships that support your growth and evolution. All things, whether external phenomena or internal aspects, such as thoughts and emotions, are in a constant state of flux and change. Impermanence suggests that attachment to changing things leads to suffering. Let go of attachments and embrace the fluidity of existence navigating the waters of change with acceptance and awareness becomes a crucial aspect of elevating your vibrational frequency as individuals release attachments to the old self. They create space for new harmonious relationships rooted in compassion and understanding. The void left by the dissolution of the old self becomes a vessel for personal and spiritual growth by accepting the impermanence of life. People move toward a deeper understanding of the interconnected nature of all things in this cosmic rearrangement. Detaching from old connections is not seen as a loss, but as an opportunity for greater alignment as you raise your vibration. Not everyone in your life may resonate with your new frequency. This can lead to moments of isolation where familiar landscapes of companionship transform into unknown territories of solitude. The elevation of your energy can provoke changes in relationships and careers, shaking the foundations of your current reality. This Detachment from old connection, though challenging, serves a greater purpose. It creates space for new, harmonious relationships that align with your elevated energy. While it may seem like a loss on the surface, it is actually an invitation to embrace greater alignment in your life. The loneliness experienced in elevating your vibration is not a sentence of solitude. It is an invitation to commune with the deeper recesses of your being. It is an opportunity to forge an unshakable connection with the divine source within you. Loneliness becomes a less traveled path, but one that encourages you to accept it rather than fear it as you move toward higher vibrations. A profound recalibration of priorities occurs. Material. Pursuits. Once the focus of your aspirations gradually lose their luster compared to the radiance of inner peace and spiritual fulfillment, this shift challenges the prevailing narratives of success in a world often obsessed with external achievements. The pursuit of external validation begins to lose its power over your soul. The truth emerges that the essence of abundance in the realm of high vibrations is not limited to financial wealth or possessions. Instead, it manifests as a state of being a cup overflowing with gratitude, a wealth of compassion, and an abundance of love that permeates every aspect of your existence. This truth may clash with societal expectations, where success is often measured by external achievements. However, by releasing attachment to materialism, 
you open yourself to a wealth that transcends traditional measures. This abundance is a state of internal wealth, a realization that fulfillment comes from within rather than external validation. One of the most challenging hurdles encountered when raising your vibration is the profound confrontation with the ego as your frequency increases. The ego may resist the dissolution of its reign. It might initiate a rebellion, provoking moments of doubt, arrogance, or a misguided sense of superiority. Confronting the ego requires humility, born of self-awareness. It is a recognition that in the grand fabric of existence, you are just a humble thread. The death of the ego is a stripping away of the layers that conceal your true self. It is like peeling the layers of an onion to reveal the inner core as you venture into the realms of self-discovery. The death of the ego becomes the brave act of letting go of the masks, illusions, and stories that the ego has woven over time. This shedding of old skins allows for the emergence of a more genuine and vulnerable self. It is akin to cleaning a dusty mirror, the smudges to clearly see your reflection.